Ah, uh, okay. So let's talk about how to really compound your money when you're trading Forex. You're gonna see all the time on social media, people say, hey, don't try to trade and make a lot of money really fast. Just try compounding your account, growing your account over time. But if I were to give one piece of advice, it would be to change your thinking when you're trading and not try changing your account balance by trading big. Tra you wanna change your mentality so then your lifestyle will change in the long term. And here's what I'm talking about. I want you to look at your bank account. Ask yourself, how much interest does your bank pay you per year just to keep your money in the account? Most banks pay no more than 1%. It's rare that you're gonna see a bank like that. Nowadays, you'll have you know banks and companies that will pay you like you know 2%, maybe just a little bit higher than 2%. But on average, most banks pay under 1% interest per year just for you to keep your money in the bank account. So let's look at it like this. Let's say you have, this is what I like to tell people to change the mentality from, from the uh, get rich quick to the growing long term when you're trading. This is gonna help you a whole lot. And this is the way that also helped me when it comes to slowly growing my accounts. If your bank pays you, let's say, 0.01% interest or point, you know, 0.05% interest, something really bad, they're basically ripping you off and you know it, but you're allowing them to. So let's say you no longer want to allow that. So let's say you have a thousand bucks in your bank account. And let's say, for example, you want to put $100 into your trading account. Now, you trade one micro lot, which is 10 cents per pip, and you catch a 50 pip trade. That means you just made $5. So $5 on a $100 account is a 5% growth. So if you would have kept your $100 in the bank account for an entire year, you would have earned probably 50 cents because that's 0.5% of, you know, 100 bucks. 1% 1 of $100 is $1. So you would have made 50 cents or less in a traditional bank account. But because you traded the Forex market or stocks, whatever it may be, and you decided to trade it slowly, you earned 5% in just one trade alone. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to beating the banks and when it comes to thinking long term. The more money you have in your account and the slower you grow it, but percentage wise, over time, it's going to compound and grow bigger and bigger. This is also why if you're in my Telegram channels, uh, link down below for that. I have a free one and I have a VIP one. Uh, but oh, by the way, we hit 10,000, 10,000 members in the free Telegram channel. That is insane. And we've only been active for what, two, three months? I am blown away by the growth and I'm using it. I'm using the free channel now more as a way to just give out information and to just update people of what's going on, you know, tips and tricks. I want it to be a channel of like tips and tricks and financial stuff now, kind of like a newsletter, but you know, every day or something, I'll post something that, you know, maybe inspiration, maybe some tips and tricks like, hey, check out this article. I want it to be a way where I can communicate with my audience and update them with what's going on in my head. So that's what I'm using the free channel now uh, for nowadays. But anyways, let's talk about the risk management side of this when it comes to compounding your account over time. And I wanna to explain to you how you can start making lots of money uh, in eight years or more when it comes to compounding your money. Okay, so first of all, I recommend you download a risk management calculator. You can get them for free on the App Store. Uh, one of my favorites, it's designed beautifully and it's also free. It's called Stinu. S-T-I-N-U, N as in Nancy. So S-T-I-N-U, it's a free risk management calculator. For example, you type in uh, what your account balance is, you type in how much you wanna risk on a single trade, and then you also type in uh, what your stop loss is in the form of pips. And then you enter in what currency pair or gold or commodity you're trading, and then it's gonna tell you what the recommended lot sizing is for that risk management of like 1%, 2%, whatever your risk management is. This is a great risk management app. So long term, you know, let's say you get into five losing trades. Uh, if you're risking 1% per trade, you know, that's gonna be 5% you just lost. But if you have a really good risk to reward strategy, let's say you're risking 1% to gain 5%, all you have to do is win two trades and you just gain 10% while you lost 5%. So you just made a profit of 5%. So that's what I'm saying. It's all about the percentages and risking an exact amount where you're not gonna blow your account in just one losing trade. And that's the problem with most traders. They hop in thinking that they're gonna make money overnight, which you're not, trust me, you're not. Yes, you can, but you will not, especially if you have that type of mentality of get rich quick. Now, let me show you how you can compound your money right now and how you can start making a million dollars or more in the long term trading in specifically in the Forex market. So let's say you start with $10,000 in your Forex account. I already did the calculation. If you grow your account by a minimum of 5% each month and you add $100 per month to your trading account, kind of like a savings account. So let's say you treat your trading account like a savings account and you add $100 a month into it. If you grow your account, if you grow your $10,000 account by 5% a month, 
and you add $100 per month, in eight years, you'll have roughly $1.2 million. So let me ask you this. Would you rather, and this is what I did in the beginning of my journey, I deposited a thousand, I had this get rich quick mentality, I traded a standard lot, I'd blow it the next day. Redeposit a thousand, blow it within a week. Redeposit a thousand, blow it within a week. Redeposit a thousand, oh no, blow it within a week. Would you rather keep doing that for the rest of your career and go through all this mental stress? Or would you rather take it the long and safe route where you grow it slowly with each individual trade? It doesn't matter if you're starting with a thousand bucks or $10,000. The goal is to have a 10 plus year goal in mind. What, how, how much money do you want to have in your account? Great. Do the compounding calculator, do the calculations and see how much money do I need uh, to add every single month to the account to help it grow faster while growing it by a certain percentage based on the trades. And then that'll give you the answer to how much money you will make within five, 10 years, 20 years, things like that. It's crazy because a lot of people say they would rather take the long and safe route after hearing that, but then they, you know, they'll try it for a day or two and they realize they don't have the patience for waiting that long. So what they do is they end up just going back to their old ways. So that's what I'm saying. Once I gained the skill set of learning how to trade based off divergence and how to trade in a professional manner, that was when I started to really focus more on the long term. I became a break even trader. I started to catch bigger trades like 100, 200, 300 pips per trade. And that's when I started to see the real growth of my account. And based on where I am at right now in my journey and my account size and everything like that, I'm able to live 100% off of my trading where I pay off my bills, I pay off my rent, pay off. Uh, I just, comp big news, I just paid off my car. I'm very happy for that. That came off my Forex profits. And that, I don't know, it's like for me, that was, it was easy to do, but it's such a big accomplishment for me because I'm 100% debt free. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool for me, being able to pay off that car, the Audi, and now I own it. I just own it outright. I can do whatever I want with it. And Forex was able to pay me uh, this lifestyle of just being able to do that. But again, that was because I developed that long-term mentality and it's also because I'm good at what I do. I'm good at it, you know, divergence trading, the entries, the trades, the swing trades. So it's a combination of everything. But trust me, once the compound interest starts to kick in, that's when you start to make a lot of money. Because think about it like this. There's this one type of plant. I forgot what it is, but it's a special kind of tree where you will not see that tree grow for a long time. I don't remember if it was months or years. Like it'll go a long time without growing at all. And then overnight, maybe like a year later, you start to see it grow really fast. That is what your trading account will look like if you take it with a long-term perspective of compounding it over time. You're not going to see the big growth in one year, two years, three years. You're gonna see the big growth five plus years down the line if you're focusing on like 5% a month, things like that. And that's very possible in the Forex market considering we have leverage, we have very volatile markets uh, like GBP pairs, we have gold, silver, things like that. So as long as you're knowledgeable about everything and you have the patience and the risk management to back it up, who's to say you can't compound your account in five to 10 years? But anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and talk about that. Uh, think about it with the long-term mindset. You know, I've been in this industry now for over five years now. I've probably like 90 to 99% of everybody hopping into this industry has the get rich quick mentality. And I don't blame them. I blame the movies. I blame TV shows. I blame people on Instagram, people on YouTube. I guess you could say I also blame myself a little bit, you know, because I would post my profits. I post my screenshots all the time. And I do that because I see other people doing it. But there's another reason also why I post my results and I don't post a lifestyle. I post my results on live accounts because I actually wanna show people that what I do works. I actually wanna show people the strategy for free that I teach here on YouTube. You can even go to babypips.com and look up Divergence. For free, you can take the course. Uh, that's my goal. My goal is to help people see that there is a better way to trade. But the main reason why I share my results all the time and it may come across as bragging, which is not, it's transparency. I wanna show people that here's a method that works, now go and learn about it on your own. Or you can learn from me, whatever, at this channel. When I say I also blame myself for the people thinking of like get rich quick, it's because I'm showing my results. But again, I have to show my results in this industry of trading in the Forex market because there's a lot of scammers out there. There's a lot of people out there trying to swindle you by saying like, oh yeah, I make all this money, but really they can't even trade. Maybe they're stealing signals from other people. I see people stealing my stuff all the time. You know, like I do everything 100% original. All my analysis, all my trades are 100% original. And then when you see someone come into my channel or watch my videos or something, and then they steal it and they put it on their channel, it's like a slap in the face to like the five years I put into this industry, right? 
that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of scammers out there, a lot of BS going on in this industry that I, I'm kind of forced to show my results and I'm kind of forced to flex on my live accounts to show you this. But it's not to flex, it's not to show off, it's to show you the transparency, it's to show you what works. So I just wanted to also clarify that and uh, no one even really complains about it, but I just wanted to share that so you're aware that you know you have to do your due diligence for everything and that's why i share my strategy for free on this youtube channel that's why i try to teach for free um, based off what i know and what i do it's so you can try it out for yourself and if you realize or when you realize it works and it's consistent then you can continue pursuing to learn about divergence now going back to the compounding this is also why i'm creating my own ea you heard me correctly i'm creating my own expert advisor now 99 percent of expert advisors on the market are trash they're complete trash and they don't work long term my goal when i'm creating this divergence ea i'm going to throw up a screenshot right here of all the settings that's going to be on the ea meaning this ea will not determine your success or failure the success or failure you are going to achieve with this ea will, de will be dependent on three things what time frames you have it connected to what pairs you have it connected to, uh, what was, oh, the settings. Okay, so the settings, time frames, and pairs. As an example, I made it so you can trade bullish hidden, bullish regular, bearish hidden, or bearish regular divergences. You get to pick and choose which ones you want to enable or disable. That alone probably has uh, how many combinations, like, I don't know. It, you have many variations of what you can do. You can attach this to any pair, any commodity, any indice, any stock, anything that you can trade and MetaTrader for, you can connect this to. So this alone will give you thousands upon thousands of possible combinations for different types of strategies. So the goal of this EA is not to plug and play. The goal of this EA is for you to backtest and find your own strategy that works for you long term. Because within MetaTrader 4, you can do backtesting and you can see what worked over a longer period of time. That's my goal with this EA. So the reason why I built this EA was so I can spend weeks, maybe months back testing multiple pairs, testing out, testing out what works and what doesn't. And then I can apply this onto a larger account and grow my account slowly because it's going to have built in money management. It's going to have built in risk management. So I can make it so it sets 1% risk per trade. So if I have a $10,000 account and if I'm risking 1% per trade, that means the maximum I can lose on that trade is going to be $100 per trade. And you, I also made it so you can have an unlimited amount of positions open. Um, so there's all three settings for that. You can have unlimited positions open only one at a time or it closes the current position in order to open a trade of the opposite position. So for example, let's say you have bullish hidden divergence and bearish hidden divergence enabled for those trades but you do not have the regular divergences enabled. So the EA is only going to get into hidden divergence trades. The way it's going to work is, let's say, for example, you're in a bullish hidden divergence trade. It's not going to close that trade until it spots bearish hidden divergence. That's how I created this. I created this so you have complete freedom to choose how you want to have your own strategy. Like anything you can think of, you can probably do it within this EA. So basically, I'm giving you, I'm giving my VIP members, and by the way, this EA is only going to be for VIP members, not for anyone else. You have to be VIP, and it's very cheap. I mean, I don't even know why I'm charging so low for VIP. They're very excited, and I'm very excited to release that. But you're going to have your ability to create any type of strategy you want within this EA. There are thousands of different strategies you could create. You just got to find one that works for you. So I have a bunch of back testing to do. I have a bunch of testing to do. And uh, I can't wait to see what my members and what you come up with, with this EA. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying about it. My goal for this EA is to make it so it compounds my account over time. So if I have a $10,000 account, if I grow it uh, very slowly every month, if I can do just a minimum, a minimum of 5% per month on autopilot, which I'm pretty sure that I could do based on what I see other EAs doing with a high risk form of trading. If this is doing low risk, let's just hypothetical example, say I create my own strategy with the EA that grows it by 5% a month. And if I add a hundred bucks a month into the account, like I said, starting balance $10,000, grow it by 5% a month, add a hundred bucks a month, in eight years, that's $1.2 million. And all because I just sat back and did nothing and I just added money to it. So that is my goal with this EA, it's to grow it and uh, it's to really see what I can come up with and come up with a long-term profitable strategy. It's gonna be tough, but I'm pretty sure we can do it, especially when there are thousands of variations that you can have with the trading strategy with this EA. So anyways, that's it for this video. Just wanted to hop on and say that. Focus on long-term results. Do not focus on growing your money overnight. It's not gonna happen. And if it does, you're gonna lose it overnight just as fast as you made it overnight, all right? See you in the next video.